Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another video and this time I've got a very very quick and simple way to enable the McLaren style fingerprint animation on your ordinary OnePlus 6T. So stay tuned for that. So guys, if you haven't been living under a rock, you know that OnePlus has released the McLaren edition of the OnePlus 6T, which is the more premium option of the boat. So you have that. The McLaren edition does come with a few extra bells and whistles, which includes the Warp 30 charger, which uh, is a faster way of fast charge, and also a few visual tweaks. And one of those visual tweaks are the fingerprint scanner animation, which is pretty damn awesome so now a developer here by the name of uh, Lash, which is this guy has found a way to get this animation this is the animation by the way and he has found a way to get this animation really really simple but first and foremost these are the prerequisites which you need to have for this animation which is pretty cool the animation is pretty nice and uh, i really really like do like that so first of all you need the octane os 9.0.10 version on your normal oneplus 60 that is the latest version of octane os i do have a video which shows you how to update your oneplus device to the latest version of octane os so you can get that now you need one of this way to get this thing first option is using a device which can be accessed from here so it doesn't require root which is really really easy and it's actually pretty self-explanatory I will not be showing you guys this method the reason being this is a setting database editor now the problem with this is that if you make any mistake with any of the values it will bork up your system so I don't want that to happen so I will not be showing you guys this one but if you are a intermediate user you can go to this page which will be in the link in the description and get this thing done so the second method without the root yes you can actually use it without root is through adbs the next prerequisite is you should have adb enabled so how to enable adb it's pretty simple you just need to go to your settings menu in the settings you can need to go to about phone page press on the build number a bunch of times that will enable the developer option so pressing it seven times will ask you for your device password you need to click that and you will get the developer options enabled in the system menu in the system menu you need to go and enable usb debugging and that will be pretty awesome now that is what you need to do in your phone now other thing which you need is minimal adb minimal adb is the quickest way to get the adb options available in your device download that and just install it it's very easy it, apart from that you also need to get your uh, devices drivers which is pretty simple first time you connect your device to your laptop it will enable everything so you don't need to worry about that these are the minimum requisites you need so you can actually download this version here and just get it done now what you need to do now is go to your installation directory for minimal adb for me it is here so as you can see minimal adb and fastboot and enable adb just double click on adb that will activate that and then you click on cmd here or if you are not uh, comfortable with using their uh, version press and hold on shift button on your keyboard right click on any empty space and from here you will see open command prompt here or in my case it is open powershell window here you can go either way you can also use powershell for this the command remains the same so let's get started first of all installed you need to provide access to your adb uh, options now now you need to type in adb devices here and it will ask for the adb debugging uh, fingerprint and code so doing that will show you guys this one now click on always allow because if you have using a trusted computer that shouldn't be a problem click on ok that will enable adb on your device now it shows adb is attached so yes you can see device is there this is the fingerprint so you have that now what you need to do is type in the following on your device first of all you have already made sure the device is connected next thing is type in adb shell settings put system op underscore custom underscore unlock underscore animation underscore style space three type this in press enter and that is it now it's enabled 
previously I had the uh, Cosmos animation and now you can see I will show you guys and if I click there and that is the McLaren style animation you can enable that it actually does work uh, you, sh you don't really have any issues with that so yeah that works and that is it to enable the animation now if you are a root user you can actually use terminal application which is a very very simple application and type in the same code on to terminal emulator after giving it super user access all that aside you can have that working in no time as you can see people this is a tutorial which came out today for those who do not have root you can use the adb method and it will be really really simple now one more thing if you want to disable this you can uh, just go to security you go to fingerprint scanner options enter your password and inside here you can see this it shows mclaren so mclaren version is right now enabled you can go here and click on any any of the other uh, option which you want to have and uh, well basically that's disabled now you need to go back and put in this code to have it enabled again so yeah that is that simple as you can see right now it will have uh, the normal version which is the cosmos option and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's how you get mclaren edition fingerprint animation on your normal oneplus 6d so yeah, it's a very very quick and simple option. You can also use the application for this one but again I do not recommend it as does the developer for this one. Massive props to the developer here. He has figured this out and it's really really awesome. There will be a link to the description here uh, for this option and also for the minimal ADB installer page so that you can get it started and get it done quicker. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the video then. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you want it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.